there are a whole bunch of products that I just decided I don't want to use anymore because I've realized that I never liked using them to begin with. So in this video I'm going to share with you the products that I don't use anymore. So believe it or not, I don't use any skincare products. I use a washcloth with warm water and I rub it over my face a few times a week. I focus on my nose and my chin and my forehead to exfoliate. I don't use cleansers. I don't use toners. I don't use creams. I don't use any of that stuff. It was a few years ago that I realized that my husband never put anything on his face. He just splashed his face with water in the shower and his skin looked fabulous. And I thought to myself, Can I, I don't like buying all of this stuff. None of it makes any sense to me anyway. I don't understand why I'm putting it all on in layers and layers and constantly rubbing and pulling on my skin. So I just stopped. And now the warm washcloth, I mean the washcloth with warm water on it, it has to be a scrubby textured washcloth, is just enough to keep my skin hydrated, exfoliated, and fresh looking. So I've done away with cleansers, toners, and moisturizers. And I think I'm looking okay for 55 years old. The second product that I no longer use, and this is a recent one, is shampoo and conditioner. Oh my God, I know this is gonna be weird for some of you, but I decided to try an experiment recently. So over the last month, I have been washing my hair with baking soda mixed into a cup of warm water and I just pour that over my head and scrub all around my scalp and then I rinse it and immediately after that rinse I pour over my head a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar mixed into a cup of warm water and I just pour that over my head and I quickly rub it in and then rinse it off. My hair has never been cleaner, it has never been fluffier, and it has never dried faster than it does now. Plus, I don't have to go as long in between, no, I got that backwards. I can go longer in between washings. My hair stays cleaner longer. And it's going to save me a lot of money going forward. The third product that I, can't say I no longer use, but I hardly ever use, is makeup, cosmetics. So I do have a couple of items in my medicine chest that I'll use from time to time. But what I never, ever, ever use is heavy base or powders or I, concealer, I guess it is, the white stuff that you put over your face to cover stuff up. <laughs> um, I don't like any of that stuff. It might have to do with, with my neurodivergence. I, I don't know. I, I, I just know that I've never really ever figured out how to properly use makeup. I don't like the scent. I don't like the way it feels on my face. So um, in my medicine cabinet, I have a few products. I have a few colored like cream based um, blush, I guess, um, that it's one color and you can use it for your cheek and your, um, like for eyeshadow and to put a little color on spots that would get sun anyway. So I have like three shades of that, um, that I use from time to time. You could also put it on your lips and, um, I put on mascara, but that's it. Uh, I don't like the way it feels. So I save a lot of money by not buying any cosmetic products. The fourth product that I no longer use is any hair care. Now I've already talked to you about shampoo and conditioner, but I also don't put any gels or sprays or mousses in my hair. I just wash, I let it air dry on most days, and I head on out of there. <laughs> it saves me money, it saves me time, but mostly as, as with makeup products. I don't like the way the things feel and smell on my head and um, 
I don't know. I just like the way my hair looks naturally. I don't really think there's anything more I need to do with it. Now, some of you might be saying that you've mentioned before in other videos that you color your hair. So yes, I do color my hair. That is the one expense that I've been willing to spend money on. But since I don't buy makeup and I don't buy skincare and I don't buy shampoo, <laughs> I think uh, it's fine for me to spend two times a year some money on my hair to color it. But recently, I don't know if you can see the roots coming out, recently I've decided to um, try just letting it grow out and letting the gray come in. So I might even give up on coloring my hair again also. I'm sorry to my stylist Giovanni. I love you and adore you. I have loved you and adored you for 22 years now, but I might just need you for little trims now and again going forward. And the final product, number five, that I no longer spend money on and actually never have, I have never spent money on this product, <laughs> is nail polish. Can you see those fingernails? <laughs> or polish for my toes. I don't do my nails. I mean, one, look at these. I bite them. That's my neurodivergent stim. So there's no reason to paint these little stormtroopers. That's what my husband calls them, stormtroopers. Look, don't they look like stormtroopers to you? <laughs> um, there's no reason to paint those. And since I'm not painting those, there's no reason to do my toes either. They're always in shoes. I don't need to have them colored and looking all artificial. Now, this is not a rant against anybody who likes to do those things. I love if you love to take care of yourself in that way. It's just not how I, I don't see that as self-care for me to put tons of stuff on my face and in my hair and on my toes and nails because for me, it doesn't feel good. Um, just doesn't feel good and now that I am at this age of 55 I don't feel that I need to do any of those things to make other people happy I don't need to buy any of those things to support capitalism and to support other businesses I just want to live in the body that I was given and take care of it from the inside out not from the outside in hmm and I think that's where I'm going to end this video. Thanks for watching. And if you're interested in learning any more about me, watch one of these videos that's up on the screen next.